Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of subchronic hemorrhage. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for more than two months. She had also a history of lower abdominal pain and pervaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see a gestational sac with a yolk sac inside and there is an echoic fluid collection with internal echoes seen at the infralateral aspect of the gestational sac between the chorion and endometrium. On transverse section, it is situated more on the left posterior lateral side. On first impression, it looks like two separate gestational sacs. But if you check carefully, the true sac containing the embryo and yolk sac has a thick echogenic merging indicating decidual reaction, which is absent on another one. Patient also gave history of pervaginal bleeding. So this is a case of subchronic hemorrhage or hematoma. Here is a magnified view. You can see the true gestational sac with decidual reaction and internal embryo with yolk sac. You can see the cardiac pulsation of embryo also and the anechoic area at the left posterior lateral aspect inferred to the gestational sac between the chorion and endometrium is the subchorionic hematoma. Here is the picture. You can see the gestational sac with thick margin and fetal pole inside. You can see the anechoic collection with internal fibrinous content indicating hemorrhagic product. And on the right side, you can see on color Doppler, there is pulsation within the tiny embryo. Here's another picture. You can see the approximate crown rum length is 6 mm, indicating 6 weeks, 3 days of gestation. And on the right side, you can see the cardiac pulsation already present on Doppler. Here is an approximate volume of the collection, which is around 5 milliliter. Here is another picture of the gestational sac with internal fetal pole surrounding decidual reaction and a subchronic collection. So in summary, about 7th week sized single life intrauterine embryo is seen. There is an echoic fluid collection with internal echoes seen left infralateral to the gestational sac between the chorion and the endometrium, suggesting it as a case of subchronic hemorrhage. Now the take home message. The subchronic hemorrhage is a very common case within the first 20 weeks of gestation where the blood collects between the chorion and the endometrium. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.